You want to know about season four? Or do you want to talk about season three? Uh, season four of 12 Monkeys is a, it's a mic drop. Like we, the writing, they stuck the landing, they pushed the actors to their outer limits of, of who these characters are. It is surprising, inevitable, amazing. I mean, I'm going to use all the euphemisms. No, I, like I read, I read that final script, and it all just goes. It just, it's perfect. It's perfect. Are, are we going to be happy? Please tell us that. Is everyone going to be? You know what? I don't know what makes each individual. I don't know what brings individual fans to the show. I will say it is a deeply satisfying hell of a ride. Like it's all the things. That's why, I, you know, I was reading it. I'm like. It's a micro. The, the season finale is a microcosm of the series. It like all the things that the show can be. This is, and that's what's stunning about it. I mean, we were talking earlier in another one of these uh, conversations how how our show can be this strange, like wacky Ocean's Eleven heist episode, and it can also be this nightmare with Jennifer walking through her mind, and then it can be. Um, it can have like, like just like death troopers, <laughs> like these masked villains, and oh, it, it's epic. It's epic and it's tiny. It like it, it, it expands and it contracts, um, and it is stunning. Like it's kind of like, oh, do you like conspiracy shows? We got that. Do you like action shows? We got that. Do you like comedy? There's that. Do you like pop culture references? They're there. It's kind of, it's an everlasting gobstopper. It's just got a different flavor the more you suck on it. <laughs> Is there anything that you wanted to do uh, throughout the four seasons that you found that you could do in season four? You know what? I, I never... I never longed to do anything because the scripts continued to surprise me in ways that I didn't expect and yet were consistent with the character. So they were always giving him new things to do that I never, like when he called me and says, we want to do a scene where you confront your father in a hallucination, but we want you to play your father. And like, you asked me to, if, if that was, if said, if by season three, you'll be doing that, I wouldn't have believed you. Because this guy was just a jackass with a cigar. I mean, he was a straight up antagonist in season one. And the arc of the character is just, his trajectory was so huge. And where he lands is so surprising, and yet you go, that's perfect. Yes, yes. And that's true of all everybody's, uh, like where the, the show takes everybody by the end of season four is, I think it's just a big yes. Like, I think audiences will be satisfied. Again, define happiness. Well, maybe if satisfaction is happiness, then then yeah. I mean, it's 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 a lot of things. It's a very emotional story. Was it really satisfying to be able to play the the the, the scenes where you were in confinement and had to kind of get yourself a little buffed up for those action shots? Well, that was a five month process. Uh, I dropped. He, he writes me and he goes, "Get ripped." And I I was on like a really long ass hiatus yeah. and so I'm like that's pizza and bourbon will take you so far <laughs> and so so he, he just texted me he's like get ripped I'm like what do you mean he goes like prison yard like old boy like De Niro and Cape Fear yeah. and I'm like how long do we have before she <laughs> So I I hired this uh, this amazing nutritionist, Sarah Lynn Baird at a place called Fit Facts, and I hired this um, well, I went to uh, be deep into training with Nerd Strong Gym in North Hollywood and I was by the time by the end I was working out nine times a week and uh, taking cold baths and and I was uh, and I was on a very restricted diet. I ended up dropping 30 pounds and adding muscle, and it was it was it was a true transformation. Like it was like my body changed after that. And then and, and I realized like at 48 years old, if I can do it, anybody can do it. And so it was a really great reason to go. Well, I'm going to be half naked for an entire episode. So, but I also wanted to show the scars and all the pain that this man carries with him and also look like I've been incarcerated for nine months with with 
you know, Boca burgers to eat every day. Um, and then what was fascinating is once they, you know, got rid of the hair and shaved the beard off, I was like, oh my God, I look skeletal. And so they were like, well, now we want to get back to kind of the suave deacon, give them a little more gravitas. So I, I now they went into a, a regime regimen to bulk up and put uh, weight back on. So it was... Pardon me? Some, some padding? There wasn't any padding. I just... I just, But it wasn't going to happen overnight. So yeah. I think by the time we get to season four, I stopped looking skeletal as I did through season three. So, so were you following this routine? Oh, you know what? It, it, the, the, the routine shifted. It became a different kind of workout. So the diet shifted. I, I had to slow back on cardio because I was just burning everything I ate. Um, I had I didn't have a drop of alcohol. I didn't have any like it was it was, it was intense, but it was amazing. Um, and then it makes the job easier because you're feeling it, right? It was it was cool. It was very transformative. Thank you. It was a really cool experience. Okay, thank you. Ready for you? Thank you. Off. Off with my head. Thank you guys.